Hello everyone. Welcome again to our studio. We're so glad you dropped by today. I hope you can stay with us the whole time. I hope you're painting with us. But if you're not, I hope you just sit back and relax and enjoy it. Enjoy it. And uh, today we're doing a special painting for, for a dear friend of actually mine and Jim's. He does a lot of wonderful work for both of us uh, on our shows. Mr. James Fisher. And we appreciate you, James, so much. Anyhow, come over to the board. We'll show you what we've done. We painted a bunch of mountains here. And uh, Jim, I'm gonna move this over just a little more. I think we usually have it right there. Is that okay? Maybe we can get this side a little better. Anyhow, uh, I just wanted to say that uh, we painted the sky, got big white fluffy clouds in the background, got a big mountain sitting in there because James loves mountains, he said. And then we're gonna put some trees and stuff along in the front here. And I'm not sure what all we'll do here. But uh, first of all, I'm going to take a little yellow, put right here. I'm going to take a little, of, this is sap green, by the way. And if you noticed, I've turned that dark green into a beautiful, beautiful green. And that'll be some of our highlight color, probably. I'm going to smooth it out just a little bit. Wipe my knife off. Now, if you notice in here, there's a lot of open spaces. I want to put a few highlights, but I, let, me, let me show you. I don't want them to be, matter of fact, let me just mix that color up. And I'm going into this dark color. I don't want this color to be super bright. I want it to be greenish. Bluish green, sort of. Now, if you're in doubt about if you got the right color or not, you can always take a little bit And, and put in there and see if it's the right color. That's just a little darker than what I wanted. So I'm gonna grab a little white. And I believe it's still a little dark. I'm gonna grab just a little bit more of this blue. Now we'll use that color, I think. Let's, let's just try a little bit of it. Now, this color will give us a sort of a, um, I guess you'd say, a frosty, misty Let's see if we can put a little bit of that. I'm going to get just in the corner of the brush. Now I don't want to, I don't want that all the way up because I'm going to change the color in here. But I want that right in these areas, just to give it that, I guess you call it a frosty. Or, or dew on it. Now I'm gonna, right there is where I'm gonna end that. I put a little right in here. Now you see what that does? It doesn't that make it look? Actually, it gives you a little uh, almost 3D effect too. 
Now, let me show you what I was going to do with this other color, and, and we won't use much of this right now. But I was going to put just a touch of this. I think I might have to have it just a touch brighter than that. Let me clean my brush. That'll help a little bit. Now I just grabbed a little white and put it in it. I don't want much of that right now, but I want a little of it. You know, that that color really looks good. I like that color. I'm going to go all the way across with it. Now you see what this little uh, fan brush does? It makes hundreds and thousands of little highlights that it would take you if you was using a small brush. It would take you forever to do this. Okay, now, that's enough of that right there. I'm going to put a little teeny bit up in here. And we'll also probably come back and do some other color up in there. Okay, now you see, look at that, all that color in there. <laughs> and it's just taking us, what, two minutes to do it. That's the way to do it. I'm going to rinse that brush out. Wipe him a little bit. i got to clean my little palette knife off. Now, I'm going to set this up a little bit so I can get a little uh, work on the bottom here. Sort of like that, Jim. Now, I probably will do a lot more back in this area, but first of all, I want to sort of des decide exactly what we want here. Do we want that mountain in there? If we do, then I probably should put some darker shadows in here, maybe. Now I'm actually dividing the water from the uh, land now. You know, people watching say, we don't ever know what you're going to paint. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't either. <laughs> but that's the fun about this, this type of painting. You just do whatever, whatever you want to do. Now, I made that real, real dark there. 
Uh, I don't know why yet. As soon as I figure it out, well, I'll let you know. <laughs> now, all right. Actually, what we've done, <laughs> we made a little land mass right here. And I'm going to try to get a little of that color off of there. Now, I'm going to wipe that off. I'm going to grab a little blending brush here. I actually want to... That may be, I don't know what that'll be. It might be some rocks there. We'll have to decide that later. Okay, I'm gonna clean that out. And I'm getting a little white in my that little blue highlight. Have you ever wanted to learn how to paint? Do you love to draw and doodle, but would love to make yourself a better artist? Then click on over to EarlRoseArt.com and check out the teaching DVDs. Earl will teach you step by step on how to be a better artist. Or you can browse the many items for sale in the shop, just like these. That's EarlRoseArt.com. We probably will go all the way across here. Now I'm trying to keep this. Straight. I'm still using that little blue. I'm still using that blue. Now I'm going to blend that a little bit. I'm going to wipe that knife off. Turn that little sucker over. Okay, wipe that out a little bit. I'm going to use this mostly white. Put a little roll on the knife.
Another little roll on the knife. I think what I'll do is put a little uh, light brown on the shoreline here to have a little ledge there. I think that's what I'll do. I'm trying to get a little white right there. Yeah. Okay, now this, I'm not sure what that should be. Should that be a rock or maybe, maybe it should be. As I see things that I want to do or change, I will do that. Now if I was going to do a rock there, I probably should have a little more of that in there. A little more blue. I don't know. Let's see what that will do to our... If we made a rock, we could make jagged edges and put something growing out of it if we wanted to. Or we could just make a little mound there. Oops, too hot. Okay, now, if we're making rock, I could have made that a pile of river rock, couldn't I? Could have. Okay, now I'm going to blend it just a little with my knife. And then I'll come in and put some, uh, uh, I'll show you. I probably won't do it with my knife. I'll come in and put some real dark 
lines and cracks and probably use Payne's Gray. You see? Now what we're doing now is making the dark, dark shadows. And we're doing it with Payne's Gray. And I'm, what I'm doing is Trying to separate the little rocks. Let's get some on that end there. Let's see if we can get a little more on that end. You see, what I'm doing now, you can do this with a little brush if you want to. But I just happen to have this palette knife handy. So that's what I'm using. See, now we've got a pile of rocks there. I'm trying to get it to a little more definition in them. Now I'm going to put, uh, probably I'll put foliage on those. And I'll also show you in a minute, come in and put just a little, little more highlight. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. I don't particularly want white in there, but I want something a little bit lighter. Let's see what that'll do. Might be too light. I believe that's about the color we need.
I'm, I'm using, actually, I didn't tell you this, but I'm using just this little edge of the, the knife now. Instead of the whole knife, I'm using just this little edge. You see what a difference it makes now in just a, a little bit of extra color. I want a little bit more right in there. Now you can work on these for hours if you wanted to, but we're going to say that we're about done. We've got a minute or two. Now that's an awful pile of rocks, isn't it? But that's all right. Okay, let's say that that's, that's about all we're going to do to that. Let's see, I got one little spot here I need to touch. Probably some shadow under it. All right, that's that's enough rock. Ooh, Lord, we done used up a whole half hour. We'll come back and do some more to the, on top of those rocks. Anyhow, we're glad you was with us today. Come back next week and be with us, and we'll do a little more work on our painting. Goodbye and God bless.